Yo, what's going on everyone? This is Zach with Learn Cybersecurity. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about why I'm doing the 30 day Linux challenge. And I'm going to start with kind of a funny story on how this all started because it all ended up starting last night when I was uh, in bed, I was working on Project Ares, which is a gamified cybersecurity training platform, which is absolutely mind blowing. Like it's completely groundbreaking to me uh, what they're doing with this platform. And I would strongly suggest you guys go check them out. I'll put a link in the description. This uh, by no means is sponsored by them in, in any way, but uh, I was in the platform. I was going through a basic Linux uh, mission that they have over there and I was having difficulty and it's like, frustrating for me because not even six, seven months ago, I went through an, uh, an online course for the LPI Linux Essentials, uh, which, you know, online I passed it. I didn't go out and get the certification, but, you know, I felt really good about what I had learned and I was happy about that. But, you know, last night I just I could not remember some of the basic commands and it was so frustrating for me. Like I was, I was actually really mad. I was like mad at myself. And it was right then at that point where I said, you know what, I'm going to take this MacBook which is like my daily driver. I use it for pretty much everything, right? It's used for, I have virtual machines on there. I uh, use it for all the like, document creation, uh, you know, doing all my email and you know, everything, right? Outside of video editing. My video editing is all done for my nice fancy Windows machine because it's just a powerhouse, right? That's besides the point. So I downloaded Ubuntu. Uh, Ubuntu GNOME to be specific because I, I did a little research, just a little bit of research and it turns out it wasn't enough, uh, but we'll get to that. So downloaded Ubuntu GNOME, got it installed. However, the mouse didn't work, the keyboard didn't work, the Wi-Fi didn't work. And then I went out and did more research and looked into other distributions and it turns out that the 2017 model MacBook Pro that I have does have difficulties with Linux distributions and there's ways that you can jump around some of these things. Uh, some of them, you know, it, it's just going to be like an ongoing issue where it might work and it might stop working and, you know, the list like kind of went on and I was like, you know what, I, I can't do this. Like I can't like risk these things like not working and then working, you know, that, just forget that. Like I, you know, at, at this point and ironically enough and most frustrating and embarrassing, is going through the process, because I tried to install Linux Mint, I tried to install just regular Ubuntu. Uh, during that process of going through all these different distros, trying to get them to work, uh, at one point, I, at the last point really, I accidentally uh, deleted the partition that contained the Mac operating system. So at that point, I just said, F it, and uh, I gave up. And I said, I'm not going to use this anymore. I, I just forget it. I'm done with it. And I went out and I bought uh, an Acer laptop, right, from, from Walmart. You know, I spent like 300 bucks on it. It's nothing too fantastic, but it's enough to get the job done for the things that I'm looking to do. Now, you know, I did say I have virtual machines on that MacBook, which that's going to be one thing that I won't really be able to do on this machine, but I will be able to remote into my other machines that will contain virtual machines. So I'm okay with that. I, I weighed all the different possibilities, so that's okay. I can actually probably run like one virtual machine on there, which I will be happy with. But you know, for what I wanna do, which is really learn Linux, it's, it's really something that is really vital and important to my progress in learning cybersecurity. I need to dedicate my time to using it. So I'm gonna use this thing as a daily driver. I already installed uh, uh, Ubuntu, or actually, I've already installed X Ubuntu on here and it's working flawlessly. I've had no issues with it yet. I literally just picked up this laptop not even like three hours ago. So, so far, so good. But the point of this is, you know, I'm doing this challenge. I'm challenging myself to use only this, figure out how I can make this my daily driver for the next 30 days and see how it goes from there. And then at that point, you know, we'll take a look back and see how we can make that MacBook run Linux, you know, if, if, if we need to, or get a better laptop that runs Linux also. So, you know, I, I'm going to really utilize the command line here, um, try to install as many applications as I can through the command line, uh, try to create different user accounts, give different users rights, create different folders, files, and give those different rights, try to understand, you know, a lot of these basics 
that I should know, that I should understand, and that I think are really you know important to know as I'm going forward um, through this career. And of course, you know, as I'm doing this, there's a lot of other things that I'm going to obviously pick up and learn. And uh, adjusting settings uh, through the command line instead of going through the, the GUI, we'll, we'll try to do that through the, the command line because that's going to be stuff that I think is just important to know about. It, it's stuff that I'm really interested to know about. Like, I want to know how to do that. It may not be absolutely crucial and important to my progress, but it's something that I want to know how to do. And I really want to know how to use Linux to the best of my ability, to its full extent. I want it to be a daily driver for me. So for the next 30 days, this is my daily driver. That's what I'm going to be using. So I will be doing more videos on this, giving you guys some uh, updates on what's going on. You guys can check over at the IT Career Questions channel, where I'm also doing videos about that as well. And if you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, make sure you guys hit me up in the comments below. And um, that's it. That's all I got for you guys today. So as always, take it easy.